Hello. Some people say you gotta get a degree. And after four years, you have to pay back the fee. Now I'm paying my fees out on my own. How am I ever gonna pay back my student loans? You go to four years of college, and what do you get? A crappy job and a mountain of debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I must stay. I owe my soul to Sally Mae. for school so I could get smart. I studied my books and I did my part. I took a full load of English and biology. And then I got a job serving coffee and tea. You go to four years of college and what do you get? A crappy job and a mountain of debt. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I must stay. I owe my soul to Sally Mae. collector kept calling and he taunted and lied but i couldn't pay no matter how much i tried i owed so much it felt like a joke to pay back my loans i'd forever be broke you go to four years God, what do you get what do you crap a job a crappy job and a mouse saint peter saint peter don't you call me because i must stay i owe my soul to sally may now they garnish my wages and the courts decree The debt follows you even after bankruptcy And my sweetie knows when I'm dead and gone My student debt will still live on You go to four years of college and what do you get? A crappy job and a mountain of debt St. Peter, don't you call me Cause I must stay I owe my soul to Sally Mae My dreams had suffered a crushing defeat, so I hitched a ride down to Occupy Wall Street. People were saying all over town, if none of us pays, we can take the banks down or else it's four years of college. And what do you get? A crappy job and a mountain of debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I must stay. I own my soul to Sally Mae. Thank you. Next up, Morgana. I think so. Um, I wrote the words to this song, not the tune. It's called The Ballad of the Ages Plowshares, and it's a true story. On Easter Sunday morning in 1991, shoot her foes with ease to take the people in far off lands and bring them 
poured out blood upon the deck where others' blood would spill. And they hammered down the missile hatches so that they could no longer kill. They prayed that soon a day would come when swords would be no more. We turned them into plowshares to plow down the fields of war. The sun was like the blood so red on lives that met an end. The river like the murky tears that grace the cheeks of friends. The cranes, the bridge, the other ships looked on in silent awe. When they found a guard and told him that they had Morgana! Woo! We're making one exception to the no, the no announcement rule, no introduction rule. David Robix is going to come up here, and he's not going to introduce his song, but he's going to introduce something that he's doing for us, and uh, here he is. <clears throat> yeah, so um, this whole round robin, and also the preceding plenary, is, uh, is all being live <coughs> streamed on, on Spreaker. So if you, uh, if you go to PMN's website, uh, Facebook page, then you will see the link uh, to the live stream. And it, it will all be archived as well. And I'm doing a show tomorrow evening at the uh, 6th Street Community Center in Manhattan. 6 o'clock. Shrooms came from Holland to America, became landlords where none had been before. Soon one man owned half a million acres on both sides of the Hudson River shore. He invited families to move in and give him 30% of everything they grew every year. This is how they pay the rent. His name was Rensselaer. He became one of the richest men on earth. In today's terms, $90 billion is how much he'd be worth. All this for doing nothing, but saying all of this was his. I have the power of the state behind me, and I'm in the landlord biz. After 200 years of this, and one revolution won. Another Rensselaer had another son. And this Rensselaer was greedier than his ancestors dead and past. It was the 1840s and things were changing fast. It was the straw that broke the back. The bottle was uncorked. They started organizing meetings the tenant farmers of New York. They found the strength of numbers. They found the power of suggestion. They found each other asking the same question. 
Who gave you the right to be a landlord? To live a life of ease while others toil? Who gave you the right to be a rich man? While the rest of us pay you so we can work this soil? They vowed they would stop the rent collection. They vowed they'd bring this madness to an end. And when one blew the tin horn of distress, he soon found he had a thousand friends. With calico skirts, masks upon their faces, on horseback, armed with knives and guns. They chanted and they yelled and they kept their farms and they kept the sheriffs on the run. They asked, who gave you the right to be a landlord? To live a life of ease while others toil? Who gave you the right to be a rich man? While the rest of us pay you so we can work this soil. The governor's malicious tried to stop them, but nothing could be done to break their will. And by 1848, the landlords buckled sold their holdings to the farmers in the hills. Yes, they overthrew this feudal system, but it's replaced now by speculators and banks. And you can still hear the homeless families asking of all the landed gentry in our ranks. Who gave you the right to be a landlord? To live a life of ease while others toil? Who gave you the right to be a rich man? While the rest of us pay you so we can work this soil Who gave you the right to be a landlord? To live a life of ease while others toil Who gave you the right to be a rich man? While the rest of us pay you so we can work this soil Who gave you the right? David Rovix! Coming up to the stage, Jenny Hurwitz. to Ray Cremona and he's like wonderful and high spirits and wishes he could be here but can't afford to catch a cold. Um, and this is for James Cannings and Andy Mankus and our old friend Jolie Rickman. And um, I, uh, this song was born at a PMN workshop in the summer. I apologize, I don't remember the name of the man who led the workshop. And he said we could go ahead and write melodies and words and that's what I did. And I keep thinking the song would be over and I keep finding I have to revise the words, and um, you will see why. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm a little rusty. <laughs> the NSA is tapping all our phones. You know what? I started in the wrong key, so I'm going to start in the right key. Um, let's just go ahead and cut that. That's the key I wanted. <laughs> NSA is tapping all our phones, but alas, it seems I'm amidst them and transcendently unknown. For I am so alone, I need some company. Why, oh, why won't you tap me? Why, oh, why won't you tap me? sold a rather unstable atom bomb to Iran, the secrets of fission to Kim Jong-un. Then emailed him the U.S. is about to railroad Dennis Rodman, said my computer hacker nephew Stan to winter in sunny Sunni Afghanistan in Iraq, told the Shia the Sunni said their mamas Smell like infidel, drunk American llamas. The NSA is tapping all our phones. Even in my nameless minnow has her own personal drone. But I am so alone. I need some company. Why, oh, why won't you tap me? Why? Tap me. 
I hooked up Private Manning with Julian Assange, and hey, in doing so, finally found a rhyme for orange. And their babysitter, form future hacktivists of America with Aaron Schwartz and Barrett Brown, convinced President Obama cell phone made a debt of collection could never cause no big drama. But when all is said and done, I ain't exactly on the run. My like my good friend Edward Snowden. The NSA is tapping all our phones. But I despair of getting to sing no low cantandere. For I am so alone, I need some company. Why, oh why won't you tap me? Why, oh why won't you tap me? I'm the source to Amy Goodman for hunger strikers at Guantanamo. Supply Bill Moyers with the, all the lowdown for his Alec expose show. When Naomi Klein and Jeremy Scahill were suffering writer's block, I ghost wrote their tomes for vegan chip scones, convinced Pfizer to contact Laura Poitras and Glenn Greenwald to help get this leak plugged. What's a girl gotta do to get bugged? <laughs> the NSA is tapping all our phones. The Brazilians are Swiss, the pissed, Swiss are pissed. Americans moan and groan. I am so alone, I need some company. Why, oh why won't you tap me? Why, oh why won't you tap me? I snitched to Putin at Obama, dared pussy riot to dance in those pews, then insinuated his supporting series. Assad would be a really cool thing to do. Chanted to the moon nights and days to boost Super Sandy's waves. Told my impressionable niece Ada, it's cool to join Al Qaeda. Keep supplying Stuart with real fake news. Hey, he could make up this stuff if he wanted to. The NSA is tapping all our phones. Don't phone home For I am so alone I need some company Why, oh why won't you tap me? Why, oh why won't you tap me? Tap me Tap me Thank you Jenny Hurwitz. Coming up to the stage, Raging Grannies. So this is to the tune of We Shall Not Be Moved. So please join us. Mm. Okay. We, we are not, we're not giving up. We are not ever giving up. We know we're in this struggle for the long haul. We have just begun. Shoulder to shoulder, we're not giving up. Oh no, but we're growing older, we're not growing up. We know we're in the struggle for the long haul. We have just begun. We are not. We are not, we're not giving up. We are not ever giving up. We know we're in the struggle for the long haul. We have just begun. We ain't sitting crying, we're not giving up. 
The left is not dying, we're not giving up, we know we're in this struggle for the long haul. We have just begun. We are not, we're not giving up. We are not up. ever. We are not ever giving up. We know we're in this struggle for the long haul. We have just begun. We're up against big dollar, we're not giving up. We still know how to holler, we're not giving up, we know we're in this struggle for the long haul. We have just begun. We are not, we're not giving up. We are not, we are not ever. We are not ever giving up. We know we're in this struggle for the long haul. We have just begun. Raging Grannies, woo! Um, Jamie Polson, welcome to him to the stage. Hi. This is a song, um, this is an original song by me. <laughs> it's, uh, called um, Hear the Earth Sing, and I'm accompanied by Mia, Ma Maya, Close enough. Close enough. Uh, <laughs> hope you like it. Paulson. Coming up to the stage, Vincent Cross. It's going to be a tough act to follow right there, ladies and gentlemen. Such a mature song from you. Look 
darkness gave up being saved. Nobody knows all the cage bird sings to put away old child fish thing. To my hometown, thinking the new outweighs the old. Like the sound of a baby crying, cuts you to your very soul. Nobody knows why the caged bird sings to put away all childish things. Sometimes the things that make you break you Sometimes the ones that love you hate you But there's just one thing I promise you I will see you once again Nobody knows why the cage bird sings Till you put away your childish thing until you put away your childish thing. Thank you. Vincent Cross, welcome to the stage, Charlene. song I wrote um, called What Would Woody Write? Woody Guthrie spoke plain about deportees and dust bowl days families Forced from the land Told the story of Ma and Tom Joad A borrowed time at the edge of the road With no time left to lose Singing for the unions and the working folks Exposing the lies of a system that broke And Woody told the truth So what would Woody write? What would Woody write right now in these hard times? Oh, what would Woody write? What would Woody write right now in these hard times? It's time to speak plain about bailed out bankers having their way while families are forced to move. People sick and tired of being attacked are standing up ready to fight back with so much more to lose. But the boss is getting richer as we go broke. They're taking our jobs and our homes and our hope. Say, Woody, is that much really changed? Everybody, so what would Woody write? What would Woody write right now? In these hard times, oh, what would Woody write? What would Woody write right now? In these hard times. Here's to 
with a mystic with a guitar strap who hitched a ride on a railroad track and always paid his dues. He fought for the unions and the working folks, exposing the lies of a system that broke. And sometimes he broke the rules. But he brought us together like a gathering storm. Raising our voices in protest and song. And Woody told the truth. Come on, help me out. What would Woody ride? What would Woody ride right now in these hard times? Oh, what would Woody ride? What would Woody ride? Charlene. Uh, coming up to the stage, Malka Ray. Um, so I'm going to play two fiddle tunes. The first one's called Tyro to Lynching. The second one is called Mary's Wedding. Malkaray, thank you. Dan and Faith Senny. Faith from Bolton, Mass. This is our first time here, and it's been a lot of fun. So. And this is one of mine from this last year. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Greed 
yearning for life's best circumstance, love's contentment and peace for all. Everyone deserves the very best. Yin and Yang, this roller coaster. Yin and Yang, this roller coaster. Yin and Yang, this roller coaster called life. Thank you. Dan and Faith Senny. Coming up to the stage, Laurie Siegel and Dave Tarlow. And Ben Silver. We shaved off Johnny's head. <laughs> All right, so how are we going to do this? Um, four mics. Um, well, he's setting them up. Uh, about a year ago. My grandson, my young grandson, in a fit of filial fealty, announced that he only loved his mother. A little prodding, a week later, he expanded his horizons to his mother, his brother, and pasta. And that brought to mind this song that I've been singing to him since, so that you all know. Up to the stage, Faith Landy. Show it to them? 
This is the show and tell part. You see, this is the morning part, and this is the evening part. Why don't we start with the morning? No, no, evening, always. Oh, you want to start with the evening? Yeah. What was I thinking? Okay. <laughs> Go. Lay out your clothes. Take a bath or a shower every time you walk in the Solo, go ahead. You want a solo? Okay, go ahead. What you're witnessing is a Corinthosaurus crest. A Corinthosaurus lived many millions of years ago and occasionally it hooted. It had a very large crest to attract friends. You see, you've got lots of friends. It works. Now let's sing, let's sing the morning. Morgan Brown. Hope I got it. Thank you. I always have to grab this because I feel tethered if I don't. I'm going to sing a uh, John Fromer song. And if you know it, please join. Give us the peace of the mountain give us the patience of a tree give us the open arms of the heavens give us the passion of the sea Teach us the music of the river. Teach us the kindness of a breeze. Teach us the harmony of a rainbow. Teach us to sing like wind in the trees. Mm -hmm. Show us the love deep as the ocean. Show us the secrets of a stone 
just a courage in a mother's heart. Show us the wisdom in our bones. Mm -hmm. Give us the peace of the mountain. We know you're here, John. We love you. Mary Nell Morgan Brown. Woo! Coming up to the stage, Graham and Barbara Dean. This is a story uh, as it was told by Doc Hawley, who was the captain of the Mississippi River boat, the Delta Queen. We stood on board the Delta. To queen and watched Memphis burning. Hatred may have ended his life, but we knew the tide was turning. Filled with anger and with grief, our tears showed our sorrow. We walked down to the river bank and cut branches from the willow. them a wreath. Lovingly it was painted black by the firemen beneath. We brought it out into the light as the day was dawning. Everyone gathered upon deck to face that sad April morning. You can't kill hope, and love lasts forever, and the dream lives on. Like the ever-flowing river You can't kill hope And love lasts forever And the dream lives on Like the ever-flowing river We gently lowered it overboard and watched it float away we all joined hands and bowed our heads 
silently we pray we felt the music fill our hearts and we all began to sing our voices raised in chorus bid farewell to Dr. King Swing low Sweet chariot Common Or to carry Him home Swing low Carry him home. Swing you can't low. kill Sweet and love lasts forever. And the Common dream lives to carry him like the ever-flowing river. Swing no, you low. can't kill home. Sweet and love. Dean. After Bruce, we're going to have Cheryl Simler, but coming up to the stage is Bruce Pollock Johnson. I'm going to uh, please sing a song. Join me on the chorus for this Charlie King song. There is a wall, and it's the tallest wall of all. They named a street for it, where numbers rule and eyes grow blank. A wall of gold, they buy the future with the past. They call it work, seems more like money in the bank. And way down at the foot of that wall, where the guards can barely see her at all. A woman is standing, not asking, not demanding. A poor woman is standing with a hammer in her hand. Don't you want a piece of that wall when it comes down? Don't you want to live to see it fall when it comes round? When that wall is gone, no matter which side you were on, can you say you took a piece of that wall down? Don't you want a piece of that wall? There is a wall. And it's the meanest wall of all Stretch from my doorstep Straight back to 1492 It hides the settlements It hides the ovens The reservations Pink triangles 
passbooks, shackles, and tattoos, and way down at the foot of that wall where the guards can barely see him at all. An old man is standing, not asking, not demanding. An old black man is standing with a hammer in his hand. Don't you want a piece of that wall when it comes down? Don't you want to live to see it fall when it comes round? When that wall is gone, no matter which side you were on, couldn't you say you took a piece of that wall down? Don't you want a piece of that wall? There is a wall, and it's the oldest wall of all, a wall of fear, holds danger out, desire in, a wall that bristles. Each time the warden brings back tales, inside we're starving. We make the bricks to build the cells, to bury love, to bar the door, to ban the stranger. And way down at the foot of that wall Where the guards can barely see at all A stranger is standing, not asking, not demanding A stranger is standing with a hammer for your hand Don't you want a piece of that wall? When it comes down, don't you want to live to see it fall when it comes round? When that wall is gone, no matter which side you were on, will you say you took a piece of that wall down? Don't you want a piece of that wall? Yes, we want a piece of that wall when it comes down. Yes, we want to live to see it fall when it comes round. When that wall is gone, no matter which side we were on, we will say we took a piece of that wall down. Yes, we want a piece of that wall. All right, give it up for Bruce, please. That's right. Karen Hudson is coming up right now. Give it up for Karen Hudson. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, give it up for Jeremiah Birnbaum for running this thing. Okay, stop, Karen. No, this is not right. Margaret Kinsky is on deck. So I was told no introductions, but um, so I asked, you know, Fred about this thing, this round robin, and he said, oh, I said, I don't have any topical songs. And he said, oh, what, what, what about the one about domestic violence? I'm like, Oh, the one about my parents. Okay. Oh, the, oh, the one where my, my uh, mom kicked my dad out and changed the locks on the door. Oh, that one. Okay. So, um, you, okay, thanks. So this song's about um, basically no matter how much sometimes a person tries, they just cannot get, you know, they just cannot get it right. So they, they try, but they're human. And it's called Mama Was a Train Wreck, Daddy Was a Train Mama was a train wreck, train wreck, train wreck. Mama was a train wreck, train wreck, train wreck. Mama was a train wreck, train wreck, train wreck. Mama was a train wreck, daddy was a train. Mama was a train wreck, daddy was a train. Mama was dependent, daddy was insane.
Go and be a good boy, fetch my liquor, son. Go and be a good boy, fetch my liquor, son. No one understands me. You're the only one. Sister got the backhand, brother got the switch. Sister got the backhand, brother got the switch. Mama called him bastard, daddy called her bitch. Drunks in the church room, 12 stepping aside. Drunks in the church room, 12 stepping aside. Couldn't deal with daddy's demons running wild. Mama was a train wreck, daddy was a train. Mama was a train wreck, daddy was a train. Mama was dependent, daddy was insane. Jehovah's mighty lantern wasn't bright enough. Jehovah's mighty lantern wasn't bright enough. Daddy had his dogma traded in for love. Mama was a train wreck, daddy was a train. Mama was a train wreck, daddy was a train. Mama was dependent, daddy was the same. Then I was born. When I got to the crossing, baggage everywhere. Got to the crossing, baggage everywhere. Mama brushed herself off. Mama brushed herself off. Mama brushed herself off, smoothed her golden hair. And she said, Keep this in a suitcase underneath the stairs. Keep it in a suitcase underneath the stairs. Daddy wasn't there. Daddy didn't care. Daddy wasn't there. He didn't have a prayer. Mama was a train wreck. Mama was a train wreck. Mama was a train wreck, daddy was a train. Thank you. Thanks a lot. That's Karen Hudson. Give it up for Karen, please. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay, we got Margaret coming up and uh, with her friends. It's going to be super fun. Um, all right, and Dana York is next. I'm going to remind everybody just to be as fleet and as short as possible, not short like height. So you got the right I did, I did really. Yeah. Okay, so we all ready to rock? I guess so. Okay. That one's first. That one's for Margaret. There you go. I'm so slow. Okay, the star of this performance is Faith Landy, and we are singing Roar by Katy Perry. Katy Perry. We picked this song because he found it inspirational, and Faith wanted to do a solo at the end. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath. Scared to laugh, that bell and make a mess. I guess I'm quietly, ugly politely. I guess that I forgot I had a choice. I let you push me past the breaking point. I stayed for nothing, so I fell for everything. You held me down, but I got up, hey! Already brushing off the dust. You hear my voice, you hear that sound. Like thunder gonna shake the ground You held me down, but I got up Hey, get ready, cause I've had enough I see it all, I see it now Faith. I got the Faith Puppy, I'm the tiger, the fire Dancing through as I am the kitchen 
and dancing, and you're gonna hear me roar. Cause I am a champion, and you're gonna hear me roar. Thank you. Wait, we're gonna wait for this part. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> now floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee, I earned my stripes. I went from zero to my own hero. You held me down, but I got up. Hey, already brushing off the dust. You hear my voice, you hear that sound. My thunder gonna shake the ground. You held me down, but I got up. Hey, get ready, cause I've had enough. I see it all, I see it now. I got the eye of a tiger, a fighter, dancing through the fire. Cause I am a champion, and you're gonna hear me roar. Louder, louder than a lion, cause I These kids today, you'll never, you never know what they're gonna do. These kids today, with the, with the, with the Katy Perry songs. Um, all right, Diana, are you, uh, are you ready to rock? Oh, wait, wait, wait! All the way back there. Okay, everybody, turn your attention to the piano. We all have to be very, very quiet, and you have to sing very, very loud. Um, I don't know that we can run a mic over to you, Ken. Okay. okay.
Wow, that was really awesome. Terry, that was a great job on sound there. That was, that was really good. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, do you have a license for that thing? I'd offer to give you a hand, but I know where the hand needs to go with the French horn. It's not, it's not pleasant. Yucking it up, folks. That's what I do. Um, Chris is next. Right now we've got two of a kind. Did I get that right? Yeah. Okay. But there are four of you. That's right. There are four of you? There's four of us. I'm a little worried about this. <laughs> all right. We never claimed we could count. Okay. We well, were all I mean, supposed to wear green, but Jason to- didn't get the memo. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time. Uh, <laughs> are you plugging into that? So, yeah. um... No, I don't hear it. Okay. So we're called Two of a Kind. They're the real Two of a Kind. Um, no. And this is a song called Coconut Trees. I wrote it. And I'm glad to have Jason on trombone and Ari on French horn. Two of a Kind! Sing along. The coconut trees are standing by the water Hundreds of roots go deep into the sand The trees hold on through the crashing waves Bending with the wind together they stand When disaster came, everything changed In the blink of an eye, the world was rearranged People were lost, destruction all around but some of the trees were still planted in the ground. The coconut trees are standing by the water. Hundreds of roots go deep into the sand. The trees hold on through the crashing waves. Bending with the wind together they stand. told you you could invite a band up here but I think yeah I think we're all yes it's banned ho oh, oh, ho that's terrible yeah that's bad that was a groan that was groan worthy all right next is Chris Balaramo did I get that name right awesome followed by the illustrious Terry Kitchen I wrote this one quite a while ago now, back in the mid-90s, I think. It's called Indigenous Renaissance. I get these requests Every week 
They come through the U.S. mail Asking me Kitchen. Joined by my identical twin, Alan Davidson. Light, wondering how she'll get across alive. But what choice does she have? What choice does she have? Oh, angel of 10th Street, white wings and golden halo, painted on the brick on the walls of the high low. Angel of 10th Street. Watch over your daughters Make the traffic part Like the waters of Egypt set her free Set her free Down the block, behind the gates of splendor Another watches from her rocking chair Bring her cookies on a plate of silver 
She's not allowed beyond the marble stair So what choice does she have? What choice does she have? Oh, angel of 10th Street White wings and golden halo Painted on the brick On the walls of the high low Angel of 10th Street Watch over your daughters Make the gates swing open like the waters of Egypt set her free. Set her free. Oh, angel of 10th Street, white wings and golden halo, painted on the brick on the walls of the high low. Angel of 10th Street, Watch over your daughters Make our hearts break open Like the waters of Egypt Set us free Set us free Set us free Ari and Jason. All right, Betty Boomer, Betty Boomer, coming on up. Oh, with Terry. Oh, man. Life just gets better and better. Fred Arcoleo is on deck. Well, I just want to show of hands. Did Toshi Seeger help anybody in this room? So this is a song in her honor, and um, it's written by Jean Bala McAvoy, and it's called... Lullaby for the fully grown. We have to get a little closer. There should be a lullaby for the fully grown. Song to ease a troubled mind, a heart that's badly torn. Life can deal us cruel blows or simply wear us to the bone. There should be a lullaby for the fully grown. Tumbling through the stream of days, gaining polish, getting worn. 
wondering where the power lies when we feel forlorn. At times we need a mother's hand when the mother's on our own. There should be a lullaby for the fully grown. There should be a lullaby for the fully grown. A lot of ringers in this room is all I'm saying. Wow, that was great. Um, I want to make a quick announcement. I forget your name. Really talented musician. Please give it up for Fred Arcoleo. Sharon Neiman. Danny Fabian. He puffed himself up on the stoop, facing north till his smirk slid a balloon, and he came tearing down on the street like a bat, daring cars with his north wind howling. I don't care! Quítate de allí, coño carajo, the horns blared. But he was already opening his cape, sweeping away all understanding and evaporating into the dusk like the disappearing day. Diz on the way to school. You shake yourself awake from your cockroach dream and find that you're fetid but human. You even sniff as if to say, only humans can recognize their rot. You pull on yesterday's jeans, billowing over your sugarcane legs, and take to the streets. It's cold outside. Something about touching down on the sidewalk that says, yeah, I'm alive, fuck, em. whatever. So you walk. Walk past Ricky's house, where the dogs always bark at you. In your dream, the saliva drips down on you like lava, blurring a thousand eyes. Shake yourself awake, human, human. Roll past the phone express where Pop calls Mommy and says, Soon, baby, soon. Like a visit to a jail cell. All the while, he's peering back at you with those don't you dare eyes. Alive, the sidewalk. You're Tupac, throwing down a rhyme, swinging your arm. Nice. Cold now, swinging your. Yo.
the first to the corner. Fume in you, Claire, as you sniff the air. Watch the white cloud. Air, not smoke. Yeah, you see them. You wait for them. Nod, grin, mumble. Flatten coats against each other as you say, I'm out. And their voices push you away jealously. Ah! But now you're still staring up at the flat brick and columns and cement and a tower. The school has a guard tower and windows, so many tiny windows, like each kid's got their own room, but they don't. You're feeling for your hands in your pockets, making half-hearted fists, thinking of mommy down there, her little voice rubbing your ear for luck. Nene, do good in school, please. You want to tell her, you can't do good in this school. You take one last long sniff. Sidewalk, making it echo as you enter. Human, human. As the silence inside tries to shrink you down. Darker shades of truth for my students. You might assume this class was out of whack to see them squirming, trapped inside this room. You have to look beneath the obvious facts, appearances to darker shades of truth. A boy whose hair looks like a smoking gun can read a Shakespeare sonnet like a palm. The girl who only seems to swear and grunt writes essays that light fuses on a bomb. Some big shots thought they had it made to banish these young people to this school. It's true, they pick a few off every day. Hopelessness, drugs, gangsta cool. Like squeaks that leak when bullies squeeze balloons. These minds cry out for revolutionary truths. Thank you guys. We need a higher stand next time. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, Sharon Neiman is up now. Sharon uh, running a workshop earlier today, right? Did I get that right? Okay. I'm just going to keep talking in a radio voice. We've had an incredible, innumerable amount of uh, genres today. Uh, we haven't had any nonsense yet, and this is nonsense with a chorus that you're all going to join in on. As I walked out on market day, a fair young damsel passed my way. How old are you, fair maid, says I, and this is what she said, she said, ding, tong, ding, diddly dong, hide oh light oh willy billy bong. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and a 30, and a ding, ding, dong. I asked her, will you marry me? She smiled and answered, wait and see. This is what she said, she said, ting, tong, ding, diddly, dong, hide, oh, light, oh, willy, billy, bong. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and a 30.
children too well actually i have a few how many children do you have and this is what she said she said ding dong ding diddly dong hi do li do willy billy bong 16 17 18 19 20 and a 30 and a ding ding dong how do you earn your children's keep by robbing houses while they sleep how many houses have you robbed and this is what she said she said ding dong ding diddly dong hi do li do willy billy pong 16 17 18 19 20 and a 30 and a ding ding dong and were you Never caught and tried. I've been to prison, she replied. How many months were you in prison? This is what she said. She said, ding dong, ding dilly dong, hi do li do, willy billy bong. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and a 30, and a ding ding dong. How is it that they set you free? I killed the guards and I did flee. How many guardsmen did you kill? And this is what she said. She said, ding dong, ding dilly dong, hi do li do, willy billy bong. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and a 30, and a ding ding dong. My last said I, I fear you jest. I was but fooling, she confessed. Well, how many lies have you told today? And this is what she said. She said, ding dong, ding dong, dong, hi do li do, willy billy bong. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and a 30, and a ding ding dong. 40, and a 50, and a ding ding dong. 60, 70, 80, 90. Everything I said today is ding ding dong. <laughs> Robin and I have a very interesting connection. Uh, we both know my father. The Rebbe. It's true. Jeremiah's father is a rabbi. It's true. Don't ask me why. I got drunk with him. You don't really know that part of it. I've story. done the same thing, but I can imagine. Did he start singing Zmiro really loud? I don't think people here know what Zmirot is. Oh, I think they do. All right, come on. Zemmer, Zemmer, come on, you know. Zmirot is Hebrew for songs. But you know, in Jewish, it's, it's, the songs are all lighty di 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 The more you drink, the more lighty di it is. Well, you know, I was gonna I didn't know what to do. I was going to do some like feminist traditional ballad. And then I said, you know what? I just want to play you my new song. Because after all, conflict resolution does start at home. Can you hear this? Sitting on your side of the bed Have you heard a word I've said? Seems like you're talking into space You've got the blank look across your face It didn't used to be like this What happened to the flowers and the kiss? You couldn't wait to get home to me Now you're sauntering so casually Desire's gone, passion went what do you do with the remains? Where there's a will, there's a way I hear people say So I don't think that we're over A little give, a little take
I remember when we started out You were all that I could think about We used to talk for hours on end You were always my best friend Ten years on, it's a bumpy road Feels like we're living on overload You're a little more tired and I'm harder to please In our separate corners with no referees Life's full of changes, ups and downs Underneath it all, our hearts are bound Where there's a will, there's a will, there's a way, there's a way I hear people say so I don't think that we're over A little give, a little take, a little take And we can make things better I do believe Where there's a will, there's a way If you need someone to hear what's on your mind you know I'll be the first in line Don't give up on our crazy dance Together we've got a fighting chance Where there's a will, there's a way I hear people say so I don't think that we're over A little give, a little take And you know we can make things better I do believe if you meet me halfway Where there's a will, there's a way There's a will, there's a way, baby. Where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Robin Greenstein, there's only one of her. Greenstein, whatever, come on. I'm new here. I'm new here. I get, what? Are you, are you tisking me, Carlos? Is that what's happening? Is that okay? Uh, all right, Adele, are you ready to rock? Okay, please give it up for Adele. I forget to, how to pronounce your last name. Ro what? Rolliger. Adele Rolliger. And um, my identical twin, Ellen Davidson. <laughs> This is a Betsy Rose song. How many of you? Please join us. Little very singable chorus. Friendships, but we're in the same boat now. We may have come here on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. Some of us came here for freedom from hunger and from hate. Some of us came here to make it rich, and some of us came here in chains we gathered in the cities claimed the new frontiers we pulled the cotton from the land we watered with our tears we may have come here on different ships but we're in the same boat now we may have come here on different ships, but we're in the same boat now.
Some grew rich by toil and trade. Some grew rich by buys. And some grew rich in power. And all of us paid the price. And in the name of progress, how we ground each other down. But no one is the winner when you're building on bloody ground. We, we may have, have come, come here on different ships, ships but we're, we're in the same boat now. We may have come here on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. Women of all colors, from every walk of life, we bore the hidden burden as workers, daughters, and wives. Hired when we were needed, sent home when jobs ran down. They think we're waiting on the shore, but we're turning this boat around. We may have come here on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. We may have come here on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. We're a people born of many shores, our journey so entwined. And we'll be on a sinking ship if we leave anybody behind. Don't want to be a melting pot. We're a rainbow family, and it's going to take everything we got to set each other free. We, we may, may have, have come, come here on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. We, we may have, have come here on different ships, but we're in the same boat. We're in the same boat. We're in the same boat now. All right, uh, Blue Wilder's up next, followed by Martha Older. All right. Hey there. How's everybody doing? I've kind of heard a little bit of water theme going through the evening tonight, huh? A lot of boats, a lot of rivers, a lot of water. So this is an old river water song from way back in Seabrook days. I don't know where Charlie went, but uh, he and I were there. I'm not sure who else was there, but it's got a great chorus. <laughs> We are the river, we're gonna wash your levees down We're coming from the mountains, we're moving through your town We're gonna join with the other rivers And then we'll have a chance And no damn the man can make will stand When the sea begins to dance Let's try it we are the river, we're come to wash your levees down. We're coming from the mountains, now we're moving through your town. We're gonna join with the other rivers, then we'll have a chance. And no damn man can make will stand when the sea begins to dance. The fish swim with us. And they help us on our way Though they keep trying to catch them Or frighten them away But plunge the depth or stir the surface The fishes can't be found Only water knows where the water goes When the river's underground And we are the river We're come to wash your levees down we're coming from the mountain, now we're moving through your town. We're gonna join with the other rivers, and then we'll have a chance. And 
no damn the man can make will stand when the sea begins to dance. Maple buds are red now, and the small streams trickling down. Brooks are on its swollen. Now the river's on the rise in town. There'll be no more of your reservoirs holding us from being free. Flood time's here and we're moving to the sea. Harry, all the river, we're going to wash your levees down. We're coming from the mountains. Now we're moving through your town. We're going to join with the other then we'll have a chance And no oh, damn the man can make will stand When the sea begins to dance Hey, we are the river We're gonna wash your levees down We're coming from the mountains Now we're moving through your town We're gonna join with the other rivers And then we'll have a chance And no oh, damn the when the sea begins to dance, oh, and the sea begins to dance, oh, and the sea begins to, we are the river. Ooh, Wilder, now coming up is Martha Older. Come on, give it up for Martha. Yeah. Um, the chorus of this song dates back many years. I was a single parent and I was laid off from a job. And that night after I put the children to bed, I waited for the song to come out. And to my surprise, the chorus of this song burst out of me completely written. And uh, I hope that you will join me on the chorus. Um, The boss called me in and he looked oh so sad. He said, sweetie, I've bad news for you. Times are real tough and we're laying off half. So now all your work here is through. Your children need you to keep going now. Let's see a smile, sweetie, your men. <clears throat> and I'll write a really great reference for you. You know this hurts me worse in the end. Seventeen years and I'm out of a job, just wondering what I can do. I'm no longer young, though I don't feel so old. But my prime hiring days are now through. Jobs in my field are just so hard to get, and this has come out of the blue. Don't know where to turn, and I'm wondering now just what kind of work I can do. God help them, God help them, my children. God keep them well fed and warm. May they always have wise arms around them. May they always be healthy and strong. I wanted, I wanted to raise them alone. I thought I could do it myself. But now that I've got no more job of my own, it seems I'll be needing some help. One night when I put my dear Annie to bed, she said, Mommy, do you have a job? Nadine says, if you don't, you're a bum. I said, honey, you know she's a snob. And I'll have a new job before you can blink. And I'll get a good one, it's true. <clears throat> In the meantime, just don't you forget, you've a mommy 
who really loves you. But uh, soon I answered a job that said, Mother's ours here. Gee, but the job sounded great. Come work in our nice place from nine until three. Same hours as school in this state. But you've got to work on the school holidays and summertime vacations too. And when the children are sick, you want to do what? Oh, I'm sorry, this job's not for you. God help them, God help them, my children. God keep them well fed and warm. May they always have wise arms around them. May they always be healthy and strong. I wanted, I wanted to raise them alone. I thought I could do it myself. But now that I've got no more job of my own, it seems I'll be needing some help. We went to the store to get back to school things, and the kids asked for nothing, it's true. And Justin piped up, and he looked oh so sweet. Can we really afford sneakers too? And last night when I put my Annie to bed, she said, Mommy, what happened to you? You said you were going to get a new job. Did you get it, or isn't it true? Now I've been in social work all of my life, and I've done some real good, it's quite true. I've even helped some folks in my place. The rewards were more than a few. But now that I'm on the wrong side of the desk and telling my story to you, unemployment's run out, but I'm holding tears back, for somehow I will get us through. God help them, God help them, my children. God keep them well fed and warm. May they always have wise arms around them. May they always be healthy and strong. I wanted, I wanted to raise them alone. I thought I could do it myself. But now that I've got no more job of my own, it seems I'll be needing some help. God help them, God help them, my children. Martha Older, that was great. Colleen and Barry are coming up now to make some trouble. Oh gosh, another ringer? This, this is all got to, oh wait, or maybe he's just collecting something. Okay. I mean, come on, it's, it's, been, it's been this good so far. How can we get any better? I think we probably got, everybody's just so great. This is what happens when you give me a microphone, folks. I just talk myself blue in the face. All right, thank you. Mike, I understand. I got it, I got you. <laughs> All right, while he's doing that, um, no hydrofracking around here, right? Good. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a song called Blessed Water, and uh, it's an original song. Um, it's in Spanish, Agua Bendita, and the translation basically is, um, I went down to the river, I went down to the sea, I trust in the water, the water teaches me to be free. So blessed water, with your knowledge of centuries, make it show that so they shall not pass, they shall not pass. And the dead dance with me, they teach me to be happy. And just like the water, they bring me to other worlds where I can be free, where I can be free. So the last line is con libertad, libertad, and you can sing that with me if you want.
Nace de un árbol marchito, vi la fuente brotar, su raíz dio luz al chorro que corre hacia la mar, hacia la mar, hacia la mar, hacia la to the stage, Steve Deasy. Great. John Fire Lame Deer was a uh, Lakota medicine man and seeker of visions. And uh, we educated him in one of our um, American Indian boarding schools, courtesy of the U.S. government. And I wrote this song around his words. When our white brothers came to make us civilized men, we didn't have any prisons back then. Of this, the crime was minimal. Without a prison, there can be no criminal. We had no locks, we had no keys. Therefore, among us, there were no thieves, no one to incarcerate. For us to cage and tame I don't know how we survived Before our white brothers came They called us savages From the First Nation Our white brothers came And brought us civil 
civilization now our world has changed and it will never be the same i don't know how we survived before our white brothers came Someone was so poor that she could not afford a horse or a teepee or a blanket. We would give her these, of course. We would embrace our humankind, welcome them into the fold. The value of a human being was not determined by gold. Had no private property. Possessions were not prized. We had no concept of money. We were too uncivilized. We were really in a bad way. That's why I must proclaim I don't know how we survived before our white brothers came. They called us savages. From the First Nation, our white brothers came and brought us civilization. Now our world has changed, and it will never be the same. I don't know how we survived before our white brothers came. We had no law set down for us to live by. Without lawyers or politicians, how could we swindle, cheat, and lie? We had no upper class, no sense of propriety. We lacked the fundamental things of civilized society. Our white brothers came and brought us civilization. Now our world has changed, and it will never be the same. I don't know how we survived before our white brothers came. I don't know how we survived before. Let's welcome to the stage Susan Lippman. Everybody, this is a, a rap with a singable chorus, and this is my identical twin, Adele <laughs> Rollider. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Okay. It's called Confidence. It's so simple, it's common nonsense. All we need is confidence. Remember, it's common nonsense. Okay. Confidence. That's your chorus. There's no reason to dread, even though we're in the red. We need to believe and trust that our government's fair and just. There'll be jobs for all tomorrow. There's no reason for prolonged sorrow. Though we're unemployed today, tomorrow everything's going to be okay. It's so simple. It's common nonsense. All we need is confidence. Confidence. Company bailouts are good. That's easily understood. Corporate greed has nothing to do with the crisis we're going through. Our economy is ailing, but it certainly isn't failing. 
So just relax and sit on the fence. It's merely a crisis of confidence. It's so simple, it's common nonsense. All we need is confidence. Confidence. Yeah, right. Susan Lippman, let's welcome to the stage Professor Louie. Everybody knows about God Almighty. He got a long white beard and a long white nightie. He's in heaven up high, above the sky. You only get to see him after you die. He sees when you're sleeping, he knows you're awake. He sees you eat bread, he knows you eat cake. He knows every single thing that's going to take place. He knows when your mother's going to smack your face. He knows everything that will come to pass. He knows when you're smoking too much grass. He got long white hair and long white drawers, but he don't bring you presents like Santa Claus. He brings fire, rain, and a hurricane. He brings the good times and the pain. And he knows exactly what you're going to do, but still got the chutzpah to punish you because he's God. He made all the rules for all the wise men and all the fools. And he said in the Bible, thou shalt not steal. But if you got to do business, it's no big deal. You could steal the land all over the earth, steal the mountains and valleys. What is it worth? Steal the forest, sell the trees, gone without a trace, steal the water from the river. You got a good case because it was never yours in the first place. And the one commandment, you never ignore. You buy it for less and sell it for more. And what makes it stealing right down to the core, you're selling something that was never yours. Steal the fish and the animals, gone in a flash, steal the whole world and sell it for cash. And cloudy or sunny, it is kind of funny. Wherever you go, God likes your money. There's the benediction and the dedication, the spiritual affection. But if you want that deep religious connection, you got to give it up because here comes the collection. And if your contribution is a couple of million, now put your name on the front of the building. And when business is slow, you got to get low because you want some more. Aside from stealing, there's always war. God said it, you read it. Thou shalt not kill. But when it comes to war, let's get real. Join the army. Take the ride. Feel the pride. Killing's all right when God's on your side. He gave Jerusalem to the Jews, but he gave it to the Muslims and the Christians too. And all three got the same religious conviction. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. He's the same God for the Christian, Muslim, and Jew. Why they kill each other? I I wish I knew, and it's strange to arrange for a God of love to kill little children from the heavens above. Hurricane, tsunami, earthquake, drought, God got it in for you, there is no doubt. And on the little kids, God let loose bombings, beatings, and child abuse. And what's coming up next? It checks in the text. God got a lot of rules when it comes to sex. In the Bible, you're liable They're on a place called Sodom. God looked down at the town with a frown. They they were sleeping around, so he reached out and got them. He laid waste through the place and killed everyone. The grandma, grandpa, the baby, the mom. What they were doing, you see, plain as could be, was just about the same thing as you and me, or every night what you see on your TV. But it shows God knows just where you've been, and it's only all right if it's all right with him. And if you fool with the rules, you're living in sin, and the devil is waiting to take you in. He'll burn Burn your butt in a fiery furnace, and God could care less. He knows you earned it, because God's in the water, and God's in the air, God's right down there in your pubic hair. He knows.
knows when you party, he knows when you dance, he knows when your hand is down in your pants. And one thing about God, that's not gonna stop. He don't flip flop. His cure is be sure the man's on top. Way back before crack, when the world began, it was Eve who brought on the fall of man. And God could turn you to a pile of salt. Bet your bottom dollar, it's the woman's fault. Church, mosque, synagogue, in the end, all these joints are run by men. And what's really hard to find about God, you could get to this. It is something you don't want to miss. The best thing about him, he doesn't exist. He's only up there in your mind. You could take him or leave him behind. Now, you might believe in the higher power, the miracles around us every, every hour. I know you feel it when you're in the shower, the sunlight burning off the sea, the moon shines down right through the trees. I can even feel it in you and me, but we don't got to spell it G-O-D. In my point of view, you put it to the test. Take the best and leave the rest. Take the part that says love thy neighbor. Do the best you can with him. It just might save you. The bells won't ring, the choir won't sing, but you feel better when you do the right thing. You do it day and night with all your might. That's probably your best chance to feel all right. Get right with yourself, and it's kind of odd. You just might one night get right with God. And in the mean and in between time, from west to east, maybe God could bring us just a little peace. Peace to all of us deep inside. <clears throat> peace to our sad dreams of money and pride. And when peace is released all over the earth, when you get what you need, not just your money's worth, when God saves the children and spares the rod, when the junkies get cheerful and don't ever nod, when feeding the hungry isn't that hard, when people all come together like peas in a pod, when the whole world feels like your own backyard, maybe then is when I believe in God. Cause every Everybody knows about God Almighty. Got the long white beard, he got the long white nighty. He's in heaven up high, above the sky. You only get to see him after you die. <laughs> Maya, were you going to play guitar on this? Yeah. Okay. Fred, Fred, number 11. Is this, uh, I guess this is for vocals. <laughs> well, I'm doing the hydrofracking blues again because we still need to fight that hydrofracking.
to hide your back in the blues. I got the slick water high volume horizontal drilling my neighborhood we're gonna stop hydro fracking gonna stop until it's gone for good, good. Yeah. i got the drilling blues the hydro fracking blues the hydro fracking blues the slick water i got the slick water high volume horizontal Got the hydro fracking blue. I got the slick water high volume horizontal drilling blues. Yeah. I got the slick water high volume horizontal drilling blue. Colleen and I go door to door getting petition signed. We're going to be forced to frack if we don't stop fast track. Look at that phone number. Tell everybody to call it. Please, it's, your, it's a direct line to your congress. We're going to be forced to frack if we don't stop fast track. That, of course, was Allison Frost. And now we have Chris Seymour. Can we get banjo mic over here? <laughs> oh, yes. So this is uh, I, my attempt to answer Charlene's question about what would, what would Woody be singing. Come gather round me children A story I will tell About pretty boy Frank the banker All Wall Street knew him well It was in the year 2000 Frank and company made their plans Selling bonds to rich investors That were backed by risky loans They convinced a million families Though their incomes were too low they could afford a mortgage and buy themselves a home. It's many a struggling family, the same old story told how the bank foreclosed their mortgage and took their little home. Now it's pretty boy grabbed the bailout, the rest of us got none. And in the storm that followed, the economy went down. Eight million people laid off, many more took cuts in pay. But pretty boy got a bonus on the very next Christmas day. It was in the town of Greenwich, it was on a New Year's Day. Came a busload of protesters, all demanding pretty boy pay. They chanted, you're an outlaw, they chanted, you're a thief. Come out, come out and explain yourself to the families on relief. Now he said, 
Please ignore my bonus and the government's largesse. Let's talk about those people who put you in this mess. Let's talk about the teachers and the folks who put out the fires. They all get Cadillac health care and on your they'll retire that's all because of unions it's the unions you should blame every crime of this recession should be added to their name now as through this world i've traveled i've seen lots of funny men some will rob you with a six gun and some with the collateralized debt obligation. Now as through this world you travel, as through this world you roam, you won't ever see a teacher drive a family from their home. You won't ever see a garbage collector drive a family from their home. You won't ever see a bus driver drive a family from their home. But you'll see pretty boy Frank the Baker driving families from their home. Chris Seymour. Coming up is Ben Silver with First Amendment to Music. Congress shall make no law Respecting an establishment of religion For prohibiting free exercise They're wrong. 